Yeah, sure. Um, Music Making Minds is our foundation's outreach project. And um, Music Making Minds is all about showing kids and adults, and in particular those with decision-making power in our communities, that music is in fact essential to a peaceful and cohesive society. Um, it's also about telling them why and showing them. Uh, you know, you don't have to be an active participant in music, um, although it helps. But let's face it, you know, most of us aren't. Music's place in society today isn't reliant on everyone being able to play an instrument to a certain level. Um, it serves to provide, in my opinion, mental and spiritual comfort. You know, a sort of connection that goes across all barriers. The kind of music I play, for example, um, let's look at that. I mean, it doesn't have any words. Uh, it took the composers who wrote that music uh, months or, you know, even years to, to write. Um, and it wasn't written by a robot or a computer or, you know, to a, a, a formula. Um, those composers had things to say to us in our own language, each of us, which is why the music is longer and they chose not to use any specific words or any words um, in my music's case. It forces us to become better listeners, which in turn um, makes each of us more understanding people. Um, it forces us to use our imaginations for long periods of time, which is the very thing which creates the innovators among us. Um, you know, life is really changing at quite frankly, you know, unprecedented levels and rates, and we're gonna need more innovation than ever before, and faster innovation. You know, STEM, is absolutely the backbone of education and a productive society. There's no question about that. Um, but the arts, and in my case, classical music, um, are the gym of the mind. Uh, you know, 30 years ago, you know, you, you had athletes and they just had to exercise on their own time and in their own way. And, uh, you know, do you think that happens now? <sighs> no, no, of course not. You know, I mean, now that we can't even go for a jog without knowing what our heart rate is at all times, there's no chance of that happening. And, you know, records are being broken all the time. Uh, you know, when it comes to the mind, you know, the odd crossword or Sudoku puzzle isn't going to connect the mind. It's not going to connect our logic with our imagination in the way that classical music is specifically designed to do. And um, by being awake to that as a society and waking people up to that and investing in that, you know, I think you'll see a great deal of change for better in all areas across all our communities.